Hello out there, all you YouTube prayer warriors. I'm coming to you today. I'm YouTube's American prophet to the nations. I salute you, all you patriots in the USA and around the world, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, that we're fighting a new world order. We're blowing the whistle on them. We got victory in Jesus. The battle of the Lord. For the glory be to God in the name of Jesus. And this is how we fight the new world order. The Bible. The Holy Bible. You can stand on the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away. But his word will stand forever. The uh, flower will fade us and the grass will wither us. But the word of God will stand forever and ever. You can take this to the spiritual bank of Jesus Christ. King of King and Lord of Lords. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the Savior, the Messiah of the world. This is how we defeat the New World Order in the USA. This is how we defeat the New World Order all over the world. This is our sword in the Spirit, our Holy Bible. We're going to beat that New World Order with this Bible. This is our sword in the Spirit, is the Word of God. We're going to defeat Him in Jesus' name. We're going to defeat the, the world, the devil, the flesh. We're going to, by the word of God, is our sword and the spirit. We come in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. The Holy Bible. There it is. You read it from Genesis, Revelation, and that will defeat the devil. And how you defeat the devil? By the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the word of our testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. I got some new revelation today about prophecy on Tiny Tim Geithner here. But before I started, I'm YouTube's American prophet to the nation. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. I was born near the 4th of July, Uncle Sam's birthday, and stars and stripes forever. And I thank Jesus for the United States of America is the greatest nation on the earth. We're a Christian nation. We're not a Muslim nation. We're a Christian nation. We pray for the Muslims. We don't hate the Muslims. We pray for them. They'll convert to the true faith of Jesus Christ, the Holy Bible, that he, they'll let him be their Savior and Messiah in Jesus' holy name. Well, here's the prophecy right now, hop from off the press right out here in Christ cyberspace on YouTube. You heard it first here. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, a prophecy on Tiny Tim Geithner. You heard it first here on YouTube. I got some new things of this prophecy I wrote two years ago, well, not two years ago, maybe it was about a year and four months ago, just under two years, about what being fulfilled this week with Tiny Tim Geithner. He went to the European Union. First time in the history, the U.S. Treasury go over there. The European Union is a new resurrection, Roman Empire, and I believe this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. He's going over there and trying to help him with our uh, Armageddon funny money, the U.S. dollar, God. They're trying to devaluate again, and uh, Tiny Tim is just going to talk with helicopter Ben Bernanke and get the Bing Green uh, U.S. dollar print machine going again to flood the uh, European banks there with dollars. They had a big meeting there in Poland, and uh, Tiny Tim Geithner is tiptoeing through the tulips. He tiptoed over there, European Union. He tiptoed there in Poland and met with him. He tiptoed there to the White House, through the White House tulips. He tiptoed through the U.S. Federal Reserve tulips. He tiptoed through the New World Order tulips in Europe and Poland. He tiptoed there through the uh, uh, Wall Street tulips there. Tiny Tim. Bible prophecy being fulfilled. 16 months after I give this prophetic word, I'm going to read to you in a minute. And things are happening fast and fierce for God's glory. Keep your eyes on Tiny Tim Geithner because he's tiptoeing all over the place through the uh, uh, New World Order tulips in Jesus' name. Now here's the prophecy God gave it to me in uh, May the 28th, 2010. I released it to... 240 newspapers of the United States of America. Open your spiritual ears today. Open your spiritual ears. 
Open your spiritual eyes. Open your spiritual mind today. This is God's prophetic word right here. Open your ears. Listen closely what I have to say. Tiny Tim Geithner tiptoeing through the New World Order tulips. Tiny Tim started his worldwide blitz through the G20 New World Order tulips. Tiny Tim went to China not to ask how much a dozen eggs cost in China, but planning the New World Order tulips in China to get ready for the G20 meeting in Toronto, Canada in June 2010. The June bugs won't be flying on the New World Order tulips in Toronto, but the G20 will go pronto. But where is Tonto? Then Tidy Tim went to London, UK, to try to keep the London Bridge from falling down. The UK pound the brother of the US dollar is heavy, but its brother will go over the bridge of troubled waters with it. But then Tiny Tim went to France to talk with the big tulip, New World Order Guru of the European Union. God save King Euro, the new idol of the new resurrection Roman Empire. Finally, Tiny Tim went to Berlin to talk to the head tulip, New World Order Global Goblin, not to scare the global markets about naked short sellings. For the global birthday party is over, Tiny Tim tiptoeing through the New World Order tulips for you. It's going to be the global bank's tax that will rip you off and make you poor. Tiny Tim, please don't sing tiptoeing through the New World Order tulips for you, for it isn't music to our ears. Praise God. This is God's anointed Bible prophecy. May the 28, 2010, we've seen it get fulfilled here in September 2011. In about 16 months later, for the glory be to God, Tiny Tim kept going through all these tubes over war, even the G20. Uh, New World Order tiptoe. He tipped on through the New World Order G20 tulip. And the G20 this week in Washington, D.C., they're having a secret meeting and everything is kind of behind closed doors and top secret and, and finding some more of the New World strategy to destroy the United States of America's sovereignty and all over the world. We're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So this is the word of the Lord today. And... Prophecy is great. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, you can know all the prophecy in the world and die and go to hell. I don't want my worst enemy in hell. Say this prayer with me today. Let Jesus come into your heart. A. Accept him. B. Believe him. And C. Confess Jesus Christ is the Savior and Messiah of the world. Say this prayer with me. Agree to this meme with me with prayer. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, my name written in the last book of life in heaven. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, this is the greatest decision of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When I die, I'll go to heaven and be with you, God and Jesus and the loved ones. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you say that prayer today, Lord Jesus Christ, I saved your soul. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, and Far East. Jesus Christ. That's where it's at. I love you today. Pray for me and Betty Kelly. Lease the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And we'll be uh, praying for you. And we thank Jesus. And many, many blessings God be bestowed on you today. Let the power of God come down on you. Thank you, Jesus, for saving many souls today, delivering people, healing people. And I pray to many blessings of God over the day. Hundredfold blessings, King Solomon blessings, Abraham blessings, Jehoshaphat blessings. The many blessings of God in Jesus' holy name. This is YouTube's American prophet, George Kelly. Check it out. 10-4, over and out. This is the new news. Me and Betty Kelly love you, but most important, Jesus Christ loves you. He loved you first before you loved him. Remember, Jesus is returning soon. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everything that has breath, praise your holy name. Jesus is coming soon. For the glory be to God. Jesus is going to shake these nations. He's going to shake the new world order. He's going to shake the Antichrist. He's going to shake the uh, mark of the beast. He's coming soon. 
For the glory be to God in Jesus' holy name.